Here's a comparison between uh, standard PVC pressure sensitive tape and gum tape. Now I've got a uh, very nice shark uh, PVC tape dispenser here and I've got a Better Pack 555 ES automatic tape dispenser and so this means I just press a particular button and exactly the right amount of tape comes out. I'm going to go ahead and uh, box up two boxes here. This is a standard region rate USPS A box and we're going to compare uh, how, how it is to do the two boxes and then what uh, the end result is. So normally what we'll do is go ahead and just flip the box over. Now this box would go ahead and be, I'll measure it, I can see that it's a little under 10 inches. So we're going to go ahead and select um, 15 inches of tape. So I'm going to 15 inches, you can see the tape just comes right out. I just flip it over and you have good tape. Now. Uh, it tape sets up fairly quickly. The tape setup is a determination based upon the heat of the heater. Now this here, there's a roll that's under here and this uh, heats up these brushes which are wetted and you can see a little bit of steam coming off of there. Um, that determines how sticky or how long the tape stays open. Now, just right now, if I go ahead and we just test it, you can see it's just been put on, but you can see that the tape is still plenty strong already, even though I just put it on. So see here, I mean, this is pretty strong tape. All right, so let's go ahead and put that tape back on again, and we'll do a comparison between the two again. All right. Oops. And let's also do our PVC tape here. So now normally you would have the tape machine coming out. It's best to come it out along the long ways with this. But because with uh, PVC tape, you really need to normally turn it towards you. So uh, turn it over. And normally you have to kind of give it some push because if you don't give it a push on there, it won't adhere properly. So first let's just do a quick test here. So uh, you can see here, um, one is allows you to see what's inside. Um, otherwise it looks okay, you know, looks like it's on there. I did press it all down. And we're gonna go ahead and flip this box with the um, pressure sensitive tape, I mean with the uh, gum tape on it. So we're gonna just go ahead and hit it. And we can see that the tape is already pulled up. Um, it's easy to pull it off. You can see that it doesn't leave much of a trace when it's pulled up. So if I was trying to get some product out of there and I was trying to pull it up, I could if I had a, a void pack in there. So we're going to go ahead and hit this box. And you can see that the box is crushed before the tape is crushed. Go ahead and hit it a couple of times. You can see that the box has deformed before the tape is deformed. So let's try it the other way. So let's try to hit it. You can see that it's a quite a strong bond. And so if I go and actually rip it, now this is fiber reinforced. If I rip it, I, I can't get it open. So you, so you can see, even when I try to pull it off, it gives you clear evidence of tampering. And this is not fully sealed tape either. If I had let it seal up for a few more minutes, it would have even become stronger. So as you can see, clearly, as we're normally, if I wanted to get a good seal on this box, uh, you know, a couple of times across and then maybe across here. So we'll push that all in there. But even then, well, there you get a good enough seal. But still, look at that. Tape's still reach right in that box. So there's some serious advantages here to gum tape over regular PVC pressure sensitive tape.